What I wanted to explain here is uh, how Cilium runs on OpenShift. Um, again, you can see I've, inst I've installed this OpenShift cluster. We have a operator. In this case, we have Cilium Enterprise installed. So we have an enterprise operator. And what this does, it constantly reconciles the environment based on the Cilium config we provide. Each given node, the master of the, 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 the worker nodes and master nodes get this Cilium agent running. And in this case, it will be configured based on the Cilium config file we, we specify. So let me have a quick look on the Cilium config. So this is basically the, the, the sort of Helm values file I've implemented on the install. And this Cilium config is constantly read through the operator and reconciles the cluster where it needed. So if I do, for example, an update on my Cilium configuration, let's say I want to add some metrics or delete some metrics here. Once I've done that, the operator reads that file, reconciles the cluster, and if needed, restarts the Cilium agents on the nodes um, to have that running configuration. So what I want to highlight here is that in this case, I've installed Cilium, uh, I've enabled Hubble, um, I have some flags for, 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 for configuration Cilium, configuring Cilium on OpenShift. Um, you can all read about this in the documentation, how, how, how this is configured. Um, you also see the Kube proxy replacement is strict. So this means we install Cilium with the full eBPF powered Kube proxy replacement uh, on OpenShift. And we have enabled metrics and this is running Cilium Enterprise. And this means that uh, we also have Hubble Enterprise enabled and the Hubble UI enabled. So the Hubble UI flag makes sure that we have access to uh, a Hubble UI so we can inspect service to service connectivity. The Hubble Enterprise piece gives you the process visibility on that given cluster. Let's have a look here. So this is Hubble, the Hubble UI. This is a demo environment and I've logged in with my uh, isovalent account. We use Okta in this case. And I only have access to the namespaces I own. So I have two demo apps installed on the main role. So I can now inspect, for example, the microservices application. What it does is gives me this live view of current flows in a given namespace. What we can see here is that obviously there's world to front end connectivity, but also the front end is connecting to the checkout service. The checkout service is connected to the card service, the card service, the Redis card, et cetera, et cetera. So this gives me the service, surf, service connectivity map of my application. I also see outbound connectivity. So here we see that there is some external connectivity. This is obviously the to cube system that makes sense, but it may also can be something on the internet or on your on your on your um, on-prem uh, resources such as a database, right? It will appear as a IP or or DNS name depending on what you have configured. So this is very powerful for application teams and platform teams to understand the connectivity of um, of the components in your applications. And generally, we recommend to start with namespace security. You want to secure access to a namespace ingress and access from a namespace egress, and then create further network policies to allow specific services to only connect to other services on a specific port and protocol. What I also want to highlight here is this live flow. So we can see um, post, get calls, layer seven uh, information here. So we can see what APIs calls are being done. We can see the verdict, if it's allowed, forwarded, or blocked. Um, I don't have a blocked example right now, but if, it, if it's there, it's, 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 it will highlight. So this gives you a live view of what's going on right now. We also have a solution called Timescape. This allows you to go to enable, disable the live view and have a view of, let's say yesterday, what happened between two and 3 a.m. Um, this can help you to um, do forensics if needed. And let's have a look on the network policy side. This is actually the current applied network policy. I'm looking at the ad surface. And on the left, I can see all the current applied network policy. So for example, I can double click on the HTTP ingress visibility. And this gives me the current applied Cilium network policy. And I can inspect it. 
I can see that it has uh, this ingress rule, two ports, a list of ports on HTTP. So it allows all HTTP traffic on all these destination ports. And let's say I, I want to change that, right? I want to, um, not, not I, I don't need this 50, 50, 50, 50, port. I just delete it, I save it. And you can see that this network policy is being changed live for me. And this allow me to, without understanding how to write network policies, I just can download this file, save it, uh, push that code through my CI CD pipeline to have it applied in my environment. So this is a very powerful tool for uh, application and security and, and platform teams to secure their namespaces.